you will be what? Addressed according to how you dress. A dress is to us a physical covering, but it conveys a spiritual invitation. A dress to you is just a physical covering or it's just a covering. No. A dress has a spiritual invitation to it. What you wear, your garment invites spirits. Your garment determines what spirit you are inviting. Whether you are inviting the spirit of God or you are inviting demonic spirits. It's dependent on how you dress. What embraces you is what you advertise yourself for. What you have been wearing invited the things you have been witnessing. Whether you have been witnessing good things, whether you have been witnessing bad things is based on how you have been dressing. If a madman walks past here, do you need any person to tell you he's a madman? How do you know? Look at you on the road and do like a dog. That means maybe you are dressing like a dog. You need to change your pattern of dress. Am I speaking to somebody now? My wife told me, gave me this testimony that from her young age till we settled down, no boy in her street was bold enough to do like that pure, pure, pure for her. And I don't need to argue that. Based on how she dressed because I knew her. You can't be walking and somebody do, are you dog? For someone to look at you to do that. Check yourself. You should not shun the guy that did that. Go to the mirror and check yourself. Take an, a, a re-examination of yourself. By the time you answer yourself well and go back, nobody will do that again. They are doing it based on how you dress. The world will address you according to your dress sense. You can't dress like a prisoner and hope to meet a king. No. You can't. You can't dress like a low priced street corner harlot and hope to marry a honorable God fearing man. It does not work that way. Half naked girls look very hot. The ones that cover their body look beautiful. Heaven is beautiful, hell is hot. Half naked girls, you look hot. We don't doubt it. You look hot, you look sexy. Very hot, you look. We don't drag it with you. You look hot. The ones that cover their body very well, they look beautiful. But heaven is beautiful and hell is what? Choose your dressing. The fastest ID card you present to people is how you dress. They don't need to read your ID card these days. By the gazing from your shoes to your head, you have given them an ID card. You don't need to have the best of all clothes before you look presentable. Am I speaking to somebody now? Even if you have three clothes, you have four clothes. You can present yourself very well with a little you have. Identity. Dressing. From young childhood, I was born into deeper life. My mom would tell me that from age two, I started nodding tie. From age two, a young, I don't know anything. This tie that has rope, we put it with our big suit. I started dressing with suit. From childhood. If you give me a trouser that my leg will show like this, I won't wear it. They say that is what is raining now. Why do they call it pencil or what? I didn't say you should not wear if you are wearing it. But give me a trouser that I like that. I say, no, 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 no. Give me a trouser that is tighter than here. Damn, pencil. That, oh my God. Have you seen them removing the gin? The people that dress like that. <laughs> is that you know that Satan is a madman? It is easy for you to remove this trouser and wear it. True of us. And to put it on. Then our young folks now say, no, it's too open. They will now sew it. It will be like chewing stick. Then when they want to remove it, they first wear nylon and sit down. And then you drag it. As they keep on dragging it, it takes more than 10 minutes to drag that trouser out. Another day again, you wear another one like that. My brother, what is the definition of madness that is different from this? Something is punishing you. You are, you are enjoying it and you are doing it more. You are doing it more. What if you wear that trust and maybe cockroaches inside? You are trying to remove it. And they are dragging it. Or snake. <laughs> Dress sense. Your, Id- your innocent parents, let me tell you this. Your innocent parents bear the causes and insults of men and women. When they see you pass their streets, dressed like a crazy girl or a crazy boy. 
dressed like a crazy girl, a crazy boy, pass somewhere. Someone will be seated and say, who born this one? Your innocent mother at home. Who born this one? Your innocent father at home. You are giving them a name they never ever gave their parents. How would it be well with such children? You dress well, oh, but you are naked. You are moving around. You say, mommy is not you, now it's me. That is not you, it's me. That's your innocent father and mother is at home. Another person is saying to fear, but not for you, oh, now your parents are innocently sitting at home. Dress sense. It has a lot to do with your identity. 